Hello everyone, this is a quick timeline for all of you. I started my channel on December 27th, 2019. I uploaded my first video that day. And then on the second day, on December 28th, 2019, I uploaded my second video. And by that of January 9th, I already had my first 100 subscribers. So that's basically 13 days. How did I get my first 100 subscribers in only 13 days? Keep watching and I'll tell you how. Hello everyone, my name is Anna Haddock. Welcome to my channel. I hope you like this video. I will be posting videos in English every so often. I'm still trying to figure out my niche, so I don't know if videos in English will be better for me or if videos in Spanish will be better for me. So I, I'm still like in an experimenting phase, as you would say, to see which audience retention I have better. And that's the point when you're starting on YouTube. You have to know what niche you're going to target. So I'm going for this in particular to see if English or Spanish, but let's start. The first tip I would give all of you is that you have to research before you hit the play button. Research. Research means that you have to sit for an hour or so searching on YouTube, searching on Google, searching on whatever platform, even Facebook is good for this, but you have to research on what you are going to talk about, what your theme is going to be about. Um, you could also research the best techniques for you to take videos, the best techniques for lighting, the best at home studios. There are so many things that you can learn from that I, I actually sit every day and research and learn. I love to learn and that way I can also help any other people learn. And I'm actually starting my video from scratch. Like all of these big YouTubers are the ones giving out tips, but they already have so much subscribers like they're not struggling as me <laughs> to get to one, my 1000 subscribers so that's why i'm doing these educational videos so that you guys can learn how to start from scratch and that would be my first point just start from zero research before you press record Something very important for me has been changing my background. My background was red before. It was really nice, but honestly, it like covered all of the area and I was doing makeup videos, so it wasn't showing as much because the background, even though it was really pretty, it was like overtaking the color scheme of everything and I had to put on so much makeup just to stand out a little bit more that I changed to this background. It's more relaxing, it's white, it goes with what I do. So that would be a first tip for all of you. Try and set the background or if you're doing something in front of the computer then just try to put something really nice. That also helps to retain the audience that's looking to, at your videos. I have been learning a lot on YouTube, so I have learned one thing that's really important. The setup of everything. I record on my iPad and on my iPhone because honestly I don't have a lot of money, but the iPad and my iPhone have great video captures, so that's what I'm working for. I did invest, I have a white light first, then I invested on a tripod, and then I have me. <laughs> the tripod I have comes with a click, it's clickable, it stops and starts the video so it's really helpful when i kind of get stuck with my words and can't continue progressively but this helps me and it has helped me a lot getting a steadier camera my setup before was basically a box with gray tape on it and my ipad was taped onto this so it was really awful but now I have a much more better setting and it has helped me a lot. I also got a microphone. It's a little tiny microphone right here. It's called a lovelier mic. It has helped me also with speaking through and getting my message across more sharply and clearly. The iPhone and the iPad and whatever phone you use actually has a terrible, 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 terrible microphone implanted into it. So honestly, you have to get a mic. These are one of the cheapest options that you have. It costs around $12 on Amazon, but hey, it's really good to help you out. And so it also diminishes background noise. In my case, it's really good because usually you would hear birds chirping or some sort of animal, <laughs> but it has helped me a lot. So that would be also a great addition that you could have on your videos. 
One thing I want to show you guys is that honestly, you get a better quality of videos if you point your camera this way. Not in selfie mode. If you point your camera this way, even though you're not seeing yourself, the quality of your video is going to get so much better. So you can just leave the camera rolling around and then when you edit, you will cut out these pieces that you're like stumbling or mumbling words or whatever you're trying to figure out. But honestly, try it that way and you'll see a big, big difference when your, your video actually goes and uploads on YouTube. You should also invest time actually getting to know what video editor you're going to use. This is really, really important. As I said in my previous video, I purchased KindMaster. They have a webpage on YouTube, which I search for. They have a lot of tips on there, but there's also a lot of different video editors around. I've heard really good things about iMovie. I've heard really good things about Filmora. I've heard very good things about Adobe. So basically you have to search for what's better for you, what's better for your budget also, and see what works with you and try to also educate yourself on this. This has really helped me a lot. It has helped with my editing and it has helped me cut time. My first editing day, I was like eight hours trying to edit a 12 minute video. So now I edit much faster. I also know what I can say in the camera. I also am being able to learn from my previous videos and my words come out more fluently. So that also helps me with the editing time. The number one thing that actually helped me build my audience and get my first 100 subscribers was posting and networking. I have my Facebook page and I have a Twitter account. I have an Instagram account, but that's like for my personal use. I don't use it for this particular um, thing I'm doing on YouTube. But what I did was I started putting links on my Facebook page and suddenly my friends would start hitting the share button. You, and the same with people that worked with me, the same with people that know me. And that way word started getting around that I had a YouTube channel and this was helping me grow. So actually networking is a way to go. There are so many things that you can do with networking. If you have a TikTok account, you can link your YouTube account there. If you have Instagram you, and you actually want to link your YouTube account, you can do that also. Um, there's other also other platforms that you can do. but. One thing also that I did was going into Facebook specific groups about what I do. I was doing some tutorials on makeup, so I went onto these web pages in, in Facebook actually. Um, and then I would hit the search button on things I would do in makeup and I would join these groups. And I would also be cautious about the rules. Some groups don't let you share videos, so in those groups I I would honestly like be a member and then if I knew I couldn't upload a video or something, I would just get out of it because it wasn't going to help me. But if you find a group in Facebook that actually lets you do it, do it. That way you get more followers, you get more people that know you, you get more people that actually can also share your videos and that has helped me a lot. I do a little bit of everything on my channel because this is a channel for learning so I want you to learn a lot of stuff but <laughs> so I have little groups on Facebook where I am subscribed and I share my thoughts on this and that on that on that topic and it really has helped me out getting my followers. There are some groups on Facebook called sub for subs. I wouldn't recommend those. Those are usually people that some of uh, some of them would actually stay subscribed to your channel, but they're not in your channel because of your content. They just want another person to get to their 1000 followers and they're not someone there that are going to contribute to watching your videos and gaining you watch time. They're going to be someone that's there. Most of them have their subscriptions hidden. So basically they can unsubscribe whenever they want and you won't know who is who. So it's not such a good idea. Honestly, I tried it and either that like the first day I got seven followers and then the next day I had less less than two followers of those seven so basically that doesn't work out it's really really sketchy don't try it if you're like okay 
one thing here if you get 998 followers and you just need to go into it that's your way through but honestly build your audience from scratch it's the way to go people finding you people commenting on your stuff people feeling the same as you are um, feeling the same vibe that you transmit and that's what you actually need to get followers you need people just to like you that like your charisma the likes the way you look and you know there's a person for everyone some people may not like me and that's totally fine but then some people may like a 50 year old woman that said that gives the same advice as me or they may like a 16 year old girl that gives the same advice as me and that's okay that's okay there's a little bit for everyone on YouTube because we are a community and community Communities are based on different facts and different people and different styles of life. I also downloaded TubeBuddy and I uploaded on my dashboard on my Chrome extension an application called Keywords Everywhere. Keywords Everywhere works directly on Google. If you don't know, Google is the first global search engine in the world and actually Google owns YouTube and, and coincidentally YouTube is the second search engine globally. So basically you're working with two of the biggest search engines worldwide. Keyword everywhere is an extension, as I said, to Google Chrome. It helps you search on Google. But here's the thing, you can start st typing in the Google section where you can search for anything. For example, how to get and it will automatically give you what people are searching for and then keywords everywhere would give you a list right next to that search on other things that people are also searching for so if i were to type how to get 100 subscribers keywords everywhere will also help you have the other options that people search for so you can try those as using them for tags and so that way you can also be better in your seo and TubeBuddy then, TubeBuddy, I have it on my mobile and I have it also installed on my Chrome extension in my Google Chrome. Um, TubeBuddy actually is a keyword research tool. It's very handy when you don't know which keywords to use. It uses keywords that are actually legit. It gives you also keywords that are tied to your video and tied to the title of your video tied to the description of your video and it also gives you scores it lets you know where your page is ranking in the google search items in the youtube search items sorry and it also helps you with scores it's, it's for example i have the paid version though so down below it says for example if i do a makeup tutorial it says that's like the number five ranked for um search item in youtube and that's giving you just an example it's not like that but it just gives you a number next to the keyword and you can say well hey people are searching for this but then you can also they have this other um extension that you can actually search for keywords and they give you a score of how many people are searching for it how much competition there is for it, how many videos there is for that specific topic and if it's going to be good or really not good for your video so you can also give tubebuddy a try the free version is really really cool i have a link down in my description below and you can check it out it's totally free if you want the paid version well there's various options for you so I would recommend you guys giving that a try I just uploaded um, vidIQ yesterday I'm not really handy with it yet so in my next video I will be talking about that I also um, uploaded yesterday YouTube tracker on my iPhone I'm also not familiar with that but on my next video I will let you know how that works and basically that's all for today I hope you guys liked my videos. If you liked my video today, please give me a like, please leave me a comment, please subscribe to my channel. As I said, I'm still figuring out. So if you leave me a comment, honestly, I would know that, hey, I have people that speak English in my, <laughs> in my subscriber list and I would love to keep doing videos in English. So please leave me a comment below if you like this video and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye-bye.